morning, everybody. You're on to read eight mathematics. And uh, we're on the series of trying to handle whole numbers and decimal fractions in um, standard form. This morning, we will be looking at an aspect of this uh, discussion, which may take us to other aspects, that has to do with writing large numbers. Contemporary mathematicians today are of the view or have accepted the standard of writing numbers by grouping them in threes without the use of comma. Let me illustrate. Previously, if I write a number like this, this will mean 243,000, 343, is that not? That's what the old system had been. But today, mathematicians have agreed that we space with what? We just need a space. We don't use comma to separate numbers anymore. So that's old fashioned. And this is what it is. If you go to most of your math textbooks you have to be, these are numbers are written. Even when they write an amount, for instance, this is 2,400. That's how it is written today. All right, so that's something you must take note of coming into this uh, topic. All right, so having said that, we will now use our case study exercise A3. I hope I'm right on that. Exercise A3 will now be our case study for today. I trust everybody has that. I trust that we all have that. Morning. I hope we all have that. So if we have that, uh, if you don't have the textbook, then I may have sent it to you as an attachment. So look through the attachment I sent to you. So number one, the number written is what? 6411632496. Now, when you're, when you're writing large numbers, you group from your left moving towards your right. I don't tell students to make it easy for you. When you've written a number out, begin to group, mark with your pen. So the marking with your pen, or sometimes I say with your pencil, is to show how the number will be divided. And that will give you, okay, so this will be what? Six space, four one one space, six three two space, four nine six. I see that. I see that. So this is how you write a large number of this magnitude. So that's for number one. Number two, I guess you've already done your. So what I'm trying to do is more like a revision. Five one five three four one four one nine six. So you space again. You group them from threes with threes rather. You group them in threes. Follow me, and then you move towards your left. This will be five, space, space, space. Number three, uh, somebody say, now, nah, Uncle, this thing is too easy. Hmm. It's easy. I had a class recently, and uh, the student didn't find this exercise very funny. So it may be easy, but it's good. You get used to it. Number four. Now, the objective of doing this is to make it easy for you to read, and you will see it very soon. When we go to other exercises, you'll see the importance of what we have done. Now, look at this. Number four is 974 Right, number five. Equation five. Equation five. You're going to add this. So when we write in this way, it makes it easy for us to read it. 
makes it easy for us to do what really that's the essence of writing this just make it easy for you to read now look at this um if i were to use as an example now this region is called what million this region is called thousand then 100 tens and units i hope you know that this 100 tens and units is replicated here again 100 tens and units tens and units so it will be what 31 million 61,254. All right. Okay, so that takes you on number five. Number six, it says express these numbers using the grouping of figure method A. 105,000. 725. That's the answer. 105,725. Then B, two and a half trillion. Two and a half trillion would be 2.5. Half is 0 0.5. So that would be two and a half or 2.5 trillion. Now look at this carefully. If I'm going to write this now, how do you write this? It will be, now let's start from the bottom. From the, me, uh, thousand, two and a half to be what? So 2.5 is actually 500 billion. So 0 0.5 trillion implies 500 million. Uh, 500 billion. So take note of that. Will be what? This. Now let's go to question seven. It says write the following numbers by grouping the digits. I think with the ones I've done, you should be able to finish this problem up. So if you have made a mistake earlier, I want you to use this as a case point to adjust what you have done previously. So we're looking at exercise A4 to handle that. And it says, uh, Sometimes it becomes important to write numbers as a combination of digits and words. It becomes important to write numbers as digits, a combination of digits and words. Now, where does that happen? For instance, or for instance, when the government they are giving the budget for the year, if you're going to be working with billions, 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 they will now say allocation for education. Two point, oh, that's too small. 40 billion naira has been allocated. Now they are even treating it in trillion. So, so we are going to allocate, let's just hypothetically say, 24 billion naira. Huh? So instead of writing all those big, 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 that will zero, 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 we'll just use one word to help us save all those unnecessary zeros that we're going to write. So that's what this area is talking about. To make reading even much more easier. Do you understand? I always tell us that everything you learn in maths has an objective. Everything you, you study in maths has an objective. Don't say you don't think you came to school to just solve maths. And, no, it has an objective. And I'm trusting that at the appointed time you understand what these objectives are. So let's go back. Question one Write out the following numbers in full. Write out the following numbers in full. Write out the following numbers in full. A. 2.4 2 million Naira. 2.42 million Naira. 
was recovered as outstanding tax. This is the main thing of interest to us. So how do you write this? You have to write it in full. So this will now be what? Two? Now start from here. I always like to start from my left. Million. So this is a million. Two points. So where I have zero, zero, I'll now change the words for two. To get this right, it will be nice for you to use pencil to work here so that you can get your answer. Right, so that's A. Now let's look at B. A man wins what? 0 0.34 billion Naira. So you start from your left. Thousand. Million. I see that. Billion. Now they said 0 0.34. So I will change this. And then replace it to what? 34. I see the technique now. Let's go to C. C says a student found 52.6 million naira. So I'll start with my left. Fifty two point six million. So I'll, I'll put, put the fifty two first. Points. That means this point six is actually what six hundred thousand. This one point three four means what three hundred and forty million. So we go to D, and in D it says the company lost seven hundred and ninety one point eight million naira through earthquake. 91.8 million through earthquake. So what do you do? You start from your left. Hundred tens are units. Thousand million point eight. So this one will not change to eight. So this is what they want you to write. Are you seeing that? So that's what they want you to do in that 